four months prior to cassination, 30,001 takes later, and I finally start making my creamy tusk chicken recipe. I start with a premium oven of 400 degrees. I'm gonna get myself a bowl. I'm gonna get two boneless breasts. I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna get some olive oil. I'm gonna get some paprika. I'm gonna get some garlic powder. I'm gonna get some, yeah, that's salt. So like I said, I'm gonna get some pepper. I'm gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna make sure they're all nice and pepper seasoned so they can all be beautiful when I sear them. I get myself my skillet. I put a little bit of olive oil in there to get heated. Get ready to sear. Get myself my boiling water in the meantime. Just pre-salt that flavor. And then put it. Now, get yourself your chicken. Here you go. Put it ooh, nice and gently. You're going to put both of them. You're going to do a good sear both sides just to make sure that it's beautifully looking and so the internal temperature will finish cooking in the oven after your sears done right, that should be good enough let me put the rest of it in right, get yourself garlic mince up some garlic in the meantime put it to the side whenever you're done with that Get yourself your rigatoni. You're going to put that in the boiling water. Get a little half, half bag, eight ounces of rigatoni. That's good enough. All right. Well, let's just look at it. 170. 178. 183. Good enough for me. All right. Give me some shallots. I'm going to dice them so long, so terribly, that I look like a novice. I just uh, put them to the side as well. Get yourself half cup cherry tomatoes get them sliced in half that should be good get your parmesan I, 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 it took me three hours to, to make this parmesan right, get yourself some butter you're gonna put in the skillet with the excess little flavor town you're gonna get your shallots in there you're gonna get them all nice and caramelized you're gonna then proceed to add but proceed to add garlic you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna mix it boy you're gonna get all the nice and aromatic you're gonna add your tomato paste like three ounces of tomato paste to get the color then you're gonna i just pre-season it give it some more seasoning so it just looks all nice and flavorful then after that you just give it a good little stir add your milk one and a half cup of milk and one half cup of heavy cream. You're gonna make it all nice and creamy, nice and milky. You're gonna let it boil, you're gonna let it froth. In the meantime, give it a little bit more flavor. You can't go wrong with flavor now. Flavor, flavor. And add your parsley after you're done. Add the half cup of tomato, by the way, um, par parsley, uh, spinach, a cup of spinach. And then after it's all mixed nice and bubbly, you're gonna add in your fresh cooked noodles. You're gonna get them all mixed up in there with the chicken that's gonna be added, right? Uh, oh, when is it coming? When's the chicken coming? Bam! Right there. Chicken's getting placed on there. You're gonna mix it all together and guess what you got? Guess what you got? A <laughs> test game possum, brother. You're gonna garnish that with a little bit of a uh, little parsley, and then get that little cheese, parmesan cheese action. You want to make it look nice and good. And I'll tell you what, like subscribe.